What is up everybody? Dan's Midwest Angling here and well, it's kind of a weird day. We're supposed to be going up north on a camping trip and that did not happen. I got all weekend to basically just go fishing. Got a couple hours before dark. This is one of my favorite lakes to fish. We're gonna see what we can do. This is the Wapaka Chain O' Lakes. It's a pretty big chain of these little kind of ponds that are all interconnected. They're all pretty deep. The water is notoriously clear, although today I don't know if it's the wind or just, this is really dirty for this lake. There's only a couple of these lakes where you're allowed to operate on plane, and this is one of them. And that could be why the water's so dirty right here. What makes this place special is that when the water is nice and clear, you can see the drop off. And so it's, it's a very steep drop, every single one of these lakes. And it makes it really easy to plan where you're casting. It's very good smallmouth water and largemouth too. There are some monstrous fish in here. That is no joke. The pleasure boat traffic is so bad that a lot of times in the summertime, the fishing pressure isn't that much. But after Labor Day, when all the pleasure boaters go home, it turns into some serious fall fishing. Long before the white man lined its shores with all these luxury homes, there was actually a network of Native American villages that were all along these shores. And they used the lakes like a super highway to travel back and forth between them. There's actually some really fascinating history about these lakes. This is a big giant rock flat that comes out here. You don't want to run over it with your motor but if the fish are relating shallow, they do like to stack up on here. Now that across the way there is actually an old timey river boat that they use to give tours of the lakes, tell you all the history. I got a theory that with the pleasure boat traffic, it tends to make the fish go deep historically. So we're gonna go find a nice sheltered spot where the boats aren't allowed to go very fast. And then right at dark, we're gonna come back out here because there's a lot of flats just like this one that are loaded with gravel and hard bottom that smallmouth just love. Oh, hello. Caught many fish under this dock. Ooh, oh, bad, very bad. Ah, get out of here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, nice little squeaker. I don't think he's a keeper though. He'll be 14 inches in Wisconsin. And he's a 13 and 7 eighths. All right, let's get another one. I wonder if he's got any friends still under there. Oh, no. Come on.
interesting. I don't know how big it is. Nah, it's not very big. Oh, <laughs> it's a nope. It is a large mouth. A very small, large mouth. It's a good sign though. There we go. I can't see. Okay. Fourteen and three quarters. It's at least a keeper, huh? Well, guys, that's all she wrote. I gave it my best. I don't even know if that last fish came out on video, but it's my first attempt at actually filming at night, so you're gonna have to cut me a little slack, huh? This has been Dan's Midwest Angling. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.